Hey everyone, I hope it's going great for everyone. Hope you're all staying healthy and active during our quarantines. Um, doesn't mean you can't go fishing though. So today we're gonna be fishing some pretty small ponds, just a couple of them for hopefully some bass. And I've heard rumors of some big, really big uh, trouts, trouts, trout, trout <laughs> in, uh, in some of these ponds. So uh, we're gonna go out there and rig up and get out there and hopefully let's catch some big fish in these small ponds. Uh, I'll see you guys out there. All right, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's actually a, a fresh stream coming out of the rocks right there, and I think it's really cool. It goes down into here, so I think this is probably where we'll, where we'll do our first cast or two. Oh, there's a, that's a trout right there, actually, I think. I could just see one right, right then. So I should let this sink more. Looks like a decent sized trout. Okay, yeah, they're swimming around over there. That might be wise to me. I probably spooked them. Let's keep on moving. All right, guys, I can see a bunch of fish down there. Can't really tell what they are. I think they're trout. Yeah, he came up and looked at it, but then he turned away. He said, no, thank you. It's just so frustrating. You can see big trout right there. Just can't get them. They swim right up to it and then swim away. Oh, I'm getting a bad headache too. Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy. Um, yesterday our day of fishing got cut short because I got a migraine all of a sudden and it was really bad. I was puking and it was just really not, not a fun time. So I had to cut my day of fishing short yesterday. Um, so today we're heading back to that same pond and we're gonna try to catch some rainbows because I have never caught a rainbow trout before and that's on my bucket list. And so uh, this is actually the first time that I heard that this pond has rainbow trout and it's so close to home too. So uh, let's go try to knock that check mark off our bucket list and uh, I'll see you guys at the pond. All right, we're starting the day off with the same first spot that we started off with yesterday except today we're throwing a super duper I'm seeing a lot of trout I'm seeing a lot already looks like they're on beds actually Oh, there's one. 
<laughs> oh, he got off. No. Oh, that. <laughs> no, that would have been my first ever rainbow. Oh, no. He was a good size one, too. That would have been my first ever rainbow, you guys. Oh, no. That is so disappointing. Oh, man. Well, I'm thinking maybe since I caused a commotion over here, they might be, they might kind of be on to us now. So we might have to leave this spot and come back later. All right, guys, we switched up. Um, I've been throwing a whole lot of uh, silver and like natural colored baits. And this is a very clear lake or pond. So we're gonna switch it up. Instead of throwing silver, we're gonna throw a gold trout magnet with a white imitation minnow. I guess, you know, we've been getting a lot of looks at our other presentations, but they just haven't been committing. So maybe just switching up the color a little bit will be enough to convince them. any favors either. Oh, he had one. He hit it. He hit it, he just didn't take it. Alright, I like that. It's a good sign. It's a very good sign. Alright, we threw on a little bobber here. We're just gonna let her sit there. That's what I gotta do to get a bite around here. <gasps> oh god. <laughs> okay, right there. There you go guys, we got one. We are hooked up finally. Hey! My first ever rainbow, and it's a decent one too. Wow, look at that. My first ever rainbow. On um, the trout magnet with a bobber. That is a nice looking little fish there. Come on. All right, I really want to get a picture with them. We should get them back in as quick as possible, but this is my first ever, so I really need a picture. All right, get the release on him. Yeah, there you go, buddy. There we went. Awesome. I know what you're thinking, like, oh, wow. This guy is pretty old, this is his first ever rainbow. Well, I mean, I don't. I just got into trout fishing probably a year or two ago. And all I've ever been able to catch is just uh, browns and brooks. This is my first ever rainbow. <laughs> it just came on a trout magnet with a bobber. They just wanted uh, something, something slower, a slower presentation. Because I was going without the bobber and bouncing it up off the bottom, kind of reeling it in. They didn't like the fast presentation. They wanted something slower. And they wanted a different color. They didn't like the silver as much, I guess. But awesome. That is super exciting. For me, anyway. Also makes it more fun that we had to 
have a challenge to figure it out too. We're gonna go try by that two or two by the spring over there before we head on out and over to a new pond. All right, I think we're gonna call it quits at this pond. We're gonna go to a different pond that's not too far from here. I think that one might also have some rainbows. I really don't know, we'll see. All right, we're to the next pond here. And I brought you guys to this pond before, but we weren't trout fishing then. And uh, there are some trout in this pond. I'm hoping to find some more rainbows, but I don't know what for trout is in here. I just know that there's trout in here. Um, I'm gonna bring my bass stuff along too though and hopefully get on some big old bass because rumor has it that there are some huge ones in this little tiny pond and we caught probably a, a three pounder last time that was the first fish that we caught that day so I'm optimistic I'll see you guys out there Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, that scared me. Snakes are awake. Can you guys see them? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that gave me a fright. Oh, why are there so. Oh, why are there so many snakes? Oh, I've almost stepped on like 13 of them today. God. I'm not even paying attention. There's a snake at my feet just about. I can't even pay attention. I don't know, is that? No, that can't be. Oh, it might have been. Should we just set the hook on it, see what happens? Let's do it. Nope. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move. There we go. Uh, yep, there we go. <laughs> I mean, not a giant, but not a giant, but he's kind of, kind of a little bit chunky. Nice little bass. Be free. Oh, you okay? You all right in there? I should make sure that he's not stuck in there. I didn't see him swim off. Where are you, dude? You okay? There he went. Okay, good. Saved a life. All right, <clears throat> we're uh, wrapping up the day now. It was a lot of fun. I didn't catch a whole lot, caught one rainbow and one uh, largemouth, but I'd never caught a rainbow before. That was kind of the goal of today was to check that one off the bucket list. And we did that. And that was really, that was a cool pond too. It was spring fed and everything. That was really cool. It was really fun. Um, those rainbows were, tough to catch today though they would swim right up to your bait or your lure and just turn their nose and run away like so i'm surprised i even caught the one i'm glad i did it was really it's a first for me and really excited about it so yeah it was really fun um hopefully we're gonna get some more bass fishing later this week and uh maybe some pan fishing like crop eye crop eye crappie fishing <laughs> this weekend maybe do like a catch and cook or something uh so 
stay tuned and if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button and like the video and we're gonna have a lot more content coming pretty soon and when the with the weather warming up and everything so it's gonna get pretty busy we're gonna have some fun see you guys later